So hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today's video is going to be pretty tough for me to make. Um, over the last, I think it's around about two, two or three days, I've been wondering what the, uh, what the state of my channel is after Nuka World and um, I understand that my channel has became a go-to place for Fallout guides and that's great, that really is. Now originally when I started YouTube eight months ago, I didn't plan to be a Fallout YouTuber, I didn't want to be that. I wanted to be a general YouTuber like PewDiePie or uh, Captain Sparkles. I just wanted to do games that I enjoyed playing and I just wanted to play through them, meet some very nice people and I just wanted to have fun, I guess. And eight months later, here I am, 110,000 subscribers up, and all of my YouTube videos essentially are Fallout videos, and that's great, it really is, because I'm glad that I was able to make that content for you guys. And originally, I think it was around about four months into playing uh, my YouTube, I, uh, when I, I started making videos, I decided, no, I need to go in a different direction. Otherwise, if I keep on doing this, I will be a Fallout YouTuber, and that's, that's not what I want. I don't want to look back on my YouTube and career and say, I did mod videos every month or every week for fucking like five years, you know? I don't want to end up like MXR mods. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have my YouTube career... Um, just be modding videos or updating you guys about Fallout, speculating on whatever kind of shit happens in the Fallout community. Now, although I do love Fallout, I've loved Fallout 3, I've fo loved Fallout New Vegas, um, and I've loved Fallout 4, it's a great game, it's just, I didn't realise that the lifespan of Fallout 4 would be this shit. It's definitely got to be the shortest lifespan of any Fallout game, um, in the past like couple of years it really has and that's kind of left every content creator in a bad position here because we all we all can't keep on squeezing what we can out of this dlc we can't keep on making silly little guides and that's certainly not what i want to do i've had fallout uh, nuka world dlc for around about three weeks now you guys probably don't even know that but yeah i've had it for around about three weeks and honestly i'm bored I'm really bored of it. I love it. It's definitely the best DLC they made. It's just, it's really boring. And I don't want to play this game anymore. Because I've been holding on to what I could for it. It's keep on making you guys happy. To keep on producing guides. And although I love editing anything. Give me a video. I will edit the shit out of that. And I will enjoy it. I will love that. Although I just cannot do this with Fallout anymore. And... Although I will be covering Skyrim, I will probably be covering the next Fallout game, the next Elder Scrolls game. I don't want to cover this game anymore because, like I said, I don't want to keep on squeezing what content there is left to squeeze out of it just to make a video. So, from today, um, I have around about 7 or 8 YouTube videos for Fallout left on my computer waiting to be uploaded. They will be uploaded in uh, one video every day for the next seven days I guess and uh, I have to admit they're pretty good videos they really are they're, they're actually good I actually genuinely had fun making them uh, one of them I feel a bit bad now because one of them's a rant at Bethesda uh, but other than that you know they, they are pretty much my last videos I have of Nuka World or this game in general um, so over the next couple of days you will see me bringing out more content towards different games uh, these games are, are different, like Overwatch, Outlast, um, Skyrim, Fallout 3, Inside, Valley, uh, Rocket League, Gears of War is coming out soon, uh, Gears of War is going to be a big one, I'm going to be doing a lot of guides on that, um, but genuinely what I want to do with my channel now is just do general gameplay, I just want to either live stream a game, talk to you guys in the chat, have face cam on and just enjoy it with you guys. Then I want to hopefully start up a news kind of, a daily news kind of thing on my channel. Similar to, I guess, Nerdist News, I guess. But a little bit more low-key, like just with this kind of backdrop on me. Uh, where I will discuss like the five big stories in gaming uh, today or something like that. 
That'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool. I have the voice for that kind of stuff. I have the face for that kind of stuff. And that's something I want to do. Uh, eventually, I will have the setup for that kind of stuff too. Um, but what I'm trying to say, guys, is that if Fallout is the only thing you can see me creating and you enjoying on my channel, then I'm sorry, guys, but it's just, it's not gonna go anymore. So, if you feel like you don't want to see any of my other videos, you you definitely won't watch any of them, then it's hard for me to say this, but I don't want a subscriber who doesn't kind of at least support me every now and then and watches a video, gives me some feedback, whether that's good, whether that's bad. I, I just don't want a, a one subscriber that doesn't do nothing, you know? I, so what I'm trying to say is if you can only see me making Fallout videos, then please feel free to just unsubscribe. I won't hold her against you uh, because, you know, you obviously subscribed to me for Fallout content and I did pretty good at it. It's just that this game's life cycle is over now. Uh, I don't want to keep on playing Nuka World DLC making guides that other people are making uh, because over the last couple of days, I've noticed that my guides have been exceptionally good and um, whilst I've I've had this DLC for around about three weeks, I'm still behind with everyone. And that's because, you know, I'm a family guy. I, I, I have a son. I look after him every day. He doesn't go to preschool yet. He doesn't go to nursery yet. So when I'm trying to record my guides, you either get him banging, shouting, and it makes me frustrated. I've, I've sat there sometimes and I've just kind of like... I've just kind of been really angry and um, it's it's hard, it, it really is hard to be a full-time dad and a full-time YouTuber because I did, I quit my job for this and uh, although I saw a career in my other job, I wasn't happy there, I, I generally wasn't happy. Um, I wanted to be a mental health nurse, I actually wanted to, you know, work with people who had mental health problems and give them medication, kind of look after them, that's what I was training up to be. Um, and I just didn't want to get treated like crap, I didn't want to get paid minimum wage anymore. And uh, when I played Fallout, I thought, yeah, this is going to be great, I'll, I'll start up a YouTube channel, I'll see how this goes. And there's me with my shitty Surface Pro, with a little shitty microphone, making some good quality content that you guys originally subscribed to me for and starting off from nowhere is really good but once you get to the position that I'm at right now this is where it really fucking tests who you are and who you want to be and uh, a fallout youtuber is great and all but it's not what I want to be doing for the next couple of months on my channel um so like I said guys I will be doing things such as full length playthroughs of things like Skyrim Fallout 3, I've got plans because I genuinely want to play that. I'll be doing little episodes of me trying to go my hardest, going all rage mode on fucking Battlefield 1, the open beta. I'll be doing Battlefield 1 uh, story mode kind of gameplays. Um, and yeah, I've just got a whole load of games to, to come, I guess. You know, the, this, this month will be pretty big for games and I want to cover every one of those. I want to try and do review videos. I want to try and do gameplay videos, I try and want to cover any kind of gaming news. I've often thought that maybe I should go in the direction of um, that guy S Scars, because I think what he does is great. He presents the news and he doesn't give his opinions very much. He kind of just presents it and that's it. And uh, I know a lot of people like that. I certainly do. When I first watched his videos, I thought, this shit's stupid. Why would people want to know about other YouTubers? And then over time, when I was learning about, you know, what want people wanted to see on YouTube, because honestly, I don't watch YouTube. I don't watch YouTubers. I watch maybe three people, PewDiePie, Captain Sparkles, and maybe Boogie now. And that's literally it. I don't know all these people like Markiplier, uh, H3, H3. I, didn't, I don't know about them. You guys constantly tweet me about big YouTubers who I don't have a fucking clue. And only now am I just discovering what people like you guys want to see on the internet. And sometimes it really puts me off. Like Leafy. <sighs> Leafy, man. Leafy. He does what he does. And that's good for him. But for me, I just don't get it. I, I don't get why people want to want to see that kind of stuff. But then again, that's just the dad inside of me, you know? That's just... That's just me being a dad, I guess. So, yeah. Um, but, guys, 
This is the rise and fall of Fallout on my channel. You know, it was pretty good while it lasted. I enjoyed it very much. And I do thank all of you for supporting me, for enjoying my videos especially, and for just all around giving me either good kind of compliments or bad kind of reviews on what to improve, you know, anything's good, in my opinion anyway. So thank you very much for that, guys. And uh, yeah, I think that um, the next couple of days you will see some different kind of content from me. Give it those kind of couple of days to make, make your minds up on if you want to stay or not. And if you don't, that's completely fine. But uh, hopefully when Fallout 5 comes out or Skyrim Remaster comes out, you will consider coming back and hopefully seeing that maybe my content has changed and I've became a bit of a different person. I don't know. We'll just see what happens anyway. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Got a Nuka World video coming out for you. And then later on tonight, I have a gameplay video of a game called Valley. It's a very low-key indie game. I would suggest you at least give it a watch. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this live vlog. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.